Hey everybody, welcome back to One Minute Walking Tours. As always, I'm your host, Jonathan, and today we are uh, right near the South Street Seaport. You can actually see the Titanic Memorial. I did a video about that quite a while ago, but I'll leave a link so you can check it out. Uh, we are on the corner of Pearl Street and Fulton. Now, what makes that interesting, and you can actually see uh, there's a plaque on the, on the now, now it's bank, uh, is that this was where the world's first power station was. Now, you can argue that the world's first power station was on the steamship Columbia, which was fully electrified uh, with electric light. Edison and his illuminating company, as it was called, did that. But this was the first attempt to build a power station to light the city streets uh, and, and buildings and so forth. Uh, so they had to do, develop a lot of the technology needed to do that. They used generators that they called dynamos, and they had to develop one called a jumbo. Uh, and that was a coal powered, steam-driven, mechanical machine that then produced electricity through its movement. Uh, they needed six uh, of the 27-ton dynamos, each producing 100 kilowatts of power. So that's 600 kilowatts of power. Each 100 kilowatt will actually light up 1,200 electric lights, but will not produce enough electricity to create motion, like a sewing machine or things like that. Uh, and as a direct current building uh, generating, it needed another uh, facility about a mile from here because that's where the signal degrades <laughs> and that's kind of that. Edison, you know, for all of his genius, didn't really understand that nobody wants a power station every, every, every mile. So you can imagine New York City, every mile there's a, a direct current coal-fired... Yeah, it really sounds awful, I know. <laughs> So on January 2nd, 1890, there was a fire in the power station, and believe it or not, that was their first interruption of service since they had gone online, as we would say today. Um, and about three hours later, they were back uh, running current again. And uh, by 1895, they decided to retire the station, because also DC is now uh, uh, not seen as the future alternating current is seen as the future because you don't need a power station every mile or so and if you're interested in this story there's a great movie called the current war with michael shannon and benedict cumberbatch playing westinghouse and uh edison where they discuss and they, you can see them building this building uh building the power station that was here which included eighty thousand feet of conductors and conduits and cables all of designed obviously to carry the current into the homes and onto the streets here in New York City. And for all of that effort, they could only light up one square mile of New York City, and that would be called the First District. And I guess this area still is called that today, to this day. So anyway, I hope you liked the story, and we'll see you here soon on One Minute Walking Tours. The system began operation on September 4, 1882, according to the plans and conceived and executed by Thomas Alva Edison. To commemorate an epoch of making event, this tablet is erected by the American Scenic Historic Preservation Society in New York Edison Company. <laughs>